guys. bringing back a very, very special guest who is my friend Paige, also my friend Paige on Instagram, although she's taking a small break from social media. Paige has been in four or five of my videos, so she is the person who has participated in more videos than anyone else. I'm really happy to have her back today for a relaxing hand and arm massage. This is the first video like this that I have done on my channel and it was loosely inspired by video posted by Maria, Gentle Whispering, many, many years ago, where she was doing some arm massage and reflexology on another guest, and I just thought it was so relaxing. So, hopefully I can provide that same sense of relaxation in this video today. I will definitely link her original video in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. I do think that massage can be a very effective tool for lowering stress, anxiety, depression, and it's also just a really nice thing that you can do for friends and family members or just people you care about. And I often will give Nick arm and hand massages before bed and he really likes it. There are also a lot of um, Eastern medicine techniques that incorporate pressure points and acupressure to, um, or they utilize certain healing points in the body to help ailments, different types of conditions and whatnot. So I will be talking about some of those today. Uh, Acupressure, Ayurvedic medicine, both of them use different pressure points a lot to aid in healing and helping the body. So I'm going to get started just by gently washing off Paige's arm. a washcloth that has been soaking in filtered water with a bit of peppermint oil. Just going to use that to gently clean our skin off. Also exfoliate her arm gently and her hand. skin before 
before we get started. going to use my toner before I begin with the massage. I also have a bolster over here if we need to use it at any point for wrist or arm support. And this is a clean towel. spray my toner on her arm. get a lot of questions on how I make this toner and I do have a recipe for it online which I will link below but it's just very gentle and acts as a disinfectant as well as has some oils in there for relaxation as well I have also printed out a couple of diagrams on hand pressure points in the left hand and the right hand. So I will be using these as a guide just to hit certain points that may be beneficial for Paige specifically. As you can see, there are many, many different areas that are believed to be linked to different parts of the body. So this is the right palm. It's a little bit more detailed. And I will be using this as well. So I'm going to use some lotion. This is my favorite brand of lotion by, um, I think the brand is Everybody or Everyone, yes. Everyone Lotion, and it's the most natural lotion that I have been able to find. Of course, there are completely natural alternatives like oil, which I often will use in these sessions, but I'm going to go with a lotion today just because I really love the way this one feels and it smells very nice. It's really mild. Um, the scent is mint and coconut and it is naturally scented so there are no synthetic fragrances or anything that could be potentially irritating. Sure. 
using some circular motions as well. Typically, I like to wear long sleeves when I'm doing any type of massage work, but I wanted to make sure that um, anything that came in contact with her skin was very soft. So I just exfoliated my hands and my arms before we did this session today. So my hands should feel very soft on hers. Moving on to the hand and her fingers, just using gentle stroking motions. The fingers are very important because they are believed to be linked to our brain and our eyes also the sinuses. And whether or not you believe in the benefits of Ayurvedic medicine or acupressure, um, the fingers are very sensitive. You know, we have nerves running throughout our body that act as receptors, so they are receptive to touch, and the hands are just very sensitive. So I'm going to gently pull each one of her fingers and there is a point between the thumb kind of right by the web of the finger that connects the thumb and the pointer finger or the index finger and if you ever are suffering from a headache or a migraine or sinus pain you can actually apply pressure between that finger webbing and it is believed to help alleviate some of those symptoms. Nick actually was the person who told me this a few years ago and when I get really bad migraines, as a lot of you know, um, Nick will actually apply pressure here and it does feel very nice. So I would recommend trying that as an acupressure point for those types of ailments. And, you know, we are using our hands all day. No matter what line of work we're in, they're such a vital, important part of our body, allowing us to learn new skills, properly carry out different tasks and it's nice to give them some attention and just release any of the built up stress in each finger you know especially if you have a job where you sit on your computer a lot or you're typing or writing that can be really stressful for your hands going over 
over her fingers, gently from both sides. Another point for relieving sinus pressure is actually at the tips of the fingers and you can just gently apply pressure between two fingers, if you can see that, kind of lightly pinching the tip of the finger and that is supposed to be beneficial for sinus pain and pressure or sinus headaches if you suffer from those, I definitely get them as well especially around times when seasonal allergies will flare up. And we're just doing everything gently using mild pressure. Uh, you will be able to definitely feel those pressure points, but it should not be painful. Now, because this is her left hand, the points are a bit different from the right. And we obviously know that our fingers have different um, joints and we have a couple different knuckles. So we will move down to the base of the fingers. The first knuckle from the palm and these points are believed to help with pain or ailments associated with the eyes and the ears. So the first two fingers would be the eyes and the pinky and the ring finger would be connected to the ears. And we can just use those same pressure point methods to gently apply pressure. You can obviously do this even if you don't have any type of issues in those areas. Massage is just so great for the body in general. Going to get a little bit more lotion. different points in the palm as well and running along each finger but we're going to also focus on the center of the palm to stimulate our adrenal our adrenal system and adrenal glands so I'm going to use my thumbs to massage in the center of her palm. Again, focusing on that adrenal pressure point. And then as 
as we move outwards from the center to both sides, we will be hitting points for the heart as well as the stomach. So if you have digestive issues or any type of issues with blood, these two spots might be beneficial for you. briefly flip her hand over and momentarily focus on the other side of her hand which has its own set of pressure points Just falling asleep as usual. I feel like I need to get a special chair for her that has some kind of head stabilizer. I'm just kind of using circular motions. And as we move on to the thumb, I can just quickly talk about some of the body parts that are believed to be linked to the thumb. And there are very many. So I'm going to give the thumb a bit of attention. Again, this is the pressure point between the web of the finger that connects the thumb and the index finger that can really help with migraine headaches and head pain. Some other body parts that are associated with the thumb are the bladder, the lymph nodes, the pancreas, the neck, the throat, the pituitary gland, and on the tip of the thumb, the head, brain, and sinuses, similar to our other four fingers. Just getting a bit 
more lotion. And something else that feels very relaxing that doesn't involve the hand is using our thumb and our pointer finger to trace down the arm. You can do this from either side with one finger on each side of the arm. Pushing gently. You can also use all of your fingers if you would like to as well, in the same motion. And regardless, this is going to stimulate the skin and stimulate blood flow. You know, making sure the blood is moving throughout the body is important, especially if your limbs are ever uh, sitting for long periods of time in the same position, such as on an airplane. And that's one of the reasons why people will wear compression socks and things like that, uh, to avoid complications that can occur from blood sitting still for too long. You know, that can ultimately result in things like strokes and blood clots. But, of course, that is quite rare. But, you know, it is just important to promote healthy blood flow and healthy body function. So it never hurts. When I'm on airplanes, I will actually stand up and massage my arms and legs, even though it looks a bit strange. Because I want to make sure that my body stays healthy while I'm flying, which can be really stressful on the body. And you may notice that pieces of dead skin come off while doing massages, that's totally normal. It's just your skin naturally shedding and the cells turning over so that they can be replaced with new skin cells. Once again, I'm going to wring out my washcloth, just soaking it a bit more in the peppermint water. going to remove any excess lotion from her arm and her hand, as well as any dead skin cells that may have um, been loosened while 
giving the massage. There are a lot of points on the hand that I did not discuss today. It's obviously such a complex body part, but I would be happy to talk about it a bit more in depth if that's appealing to all of you. I do highly encourage you to give a friend or a loved one or a family member a relaxing arm and hand massage. Feels really nice and they will definitely thank you for it. Clean towel. I'm just going to dry off her arm. just a little bit more toner. And I'm going to apply a couple drops of carrier oil with one drop of peppermint oil. I'm using jojoba oil, which is one of my favorites because it's just very thin and it absorbs into the skin easily so it's not greasy. One drop of peppermint. And this is going to feel very cooling and soothing on our skin. Next time we do a massage video, we will have to focus more on the other side of the hand. We can also talk about beneficial parts of the arm. So the final thing that I have for Paige is just a little piece of chocolate. I've been really into this chocolate recently because it has healing herbs in it. This one has ashwagandha, reishi, and hishuwu, which um, are helpful for, again, relaxation, depression, anxiety, things like that. So I have one little piece of chocolate for her that I will give to her, as well as some cold water so that um, if she has become a bit dehydrated during the session, this will be good sustenance to just revitalize her a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me, Paige the millionth time. <laughs> I'm sure she will be on my channel again in the future. She's working on some really cool things lately and we are actually about to do an episode of her podcast after this, so I will link all of her socials and all the projects that she's working on below so that you guys can check it out. I will
will see you all very soon in my next video, and I will talk to you then.